Hello and welcome to the weather update for November 14th, 2019. It's around 1030. Looking at the uh, kind of it's the cloudy day today, dreary day, a lot of, you know, pretty much a high overcast. Um, you can see plenty of clouds on the satellite, high clouds off to the south and maybe some lower clouds over here, which is and you can see this. This is uh, that cold front that we're going to be uh, that's going to be passing through later tomorrow. So let's take a look at uh, current temperatures outside. Right now, 42. Uh, we're going to go look at West Hampton and see how low it got last night at West Hampton. So it's 40 at West Hampton right now, and it got down to 13 degrees at West Hampton last night. Uh, so that's pretty chilly. Let's see about Tom's River. Let's see what their Pine Barrens got down to as well, because the Pine Barrens just get cold on these uh, calm, clear nights with dry air. So let's see. They also got down to 13. It's interesting that often you'll see. The Pine Barrens west of Tom's River in West Hampton match their record, their their lows. Whether that's a record or not, I'm not sure. Let's check and see if anything was posted on the uh, Weather Service Twitter about records and if any were broken today. Uh, as far as this morning goes, uh, let's see. Um, okay, let's see if we can get that information for you. Let's see if uh, if there were any records broken. Uh, yeah, it does not appear uh, that uh, that any records were broken this m morning. This was yesterday morning, uh, so I don't see any notes of that. I, just to be sure, let me go look at the climate uh, section of this and see if Iceland did break their record this morning, and we'll see if they broke their record for minimum low. So let's see. Their low was 20. Oh, they did not break the record of 19. So the record for the uh, this today was 19. That did not. That stood. So I guess no records were broken uh, this morning. So let's go look at the models. We well, don't have enough of the 0Z models, and we look at the 18Z models and see what's going to be happening uh, as we uh, head into uh, this weekend and next week. So uh, we have this cold air mass that's building that's been coming down from the north from eastern Canada and then we have this developing coastal low off the southeast coast so what's going to happen here is this cold air mass this really big cold high is going to help to keep this coastal possibly with some tropical characteristics offshore you can see how tight these isobars are so there's going to be some really strong winds around the outer banks of North Carolina and offshore this high builds and, and this thing really just deepens quite a bit here we are into Sunday and it's just deepening look that 993 uh, millibar low there it's very deep and uh, as it starts getting a little closer around Sunday we're gonna get some stronger winds out of it uh, this is according to the GFS and then it kind of just goes offshore uh, and then into Nova Scotia on the GFS and we really just see some fringe effects from it uh, but this this is pretty wrapped up this uh, low pressure system here as it heads into, into uh, Canada. And then we have uh, a less amplified uh, pattern into next week. Um, uh, so no, you know, no really extreme cold weather. Uh, we do have some high pressure building in and another system there. And then uh, looking more uh, more of a like a, a zonal pattern here uh, and as we head into. So we're not going to really see any more of that really, you know, really cold air uh, after Saturday. Uh, it'll be it'll still be below normal, though. Um, so let's go and take a look and see uh, what's going to be happening with our temperatures. Uh, you'll see that uh, that that temperature uh, trend also. So let's just back it up to tomorrow. So you'll see tomorrow we warm up close to 50 degrees, which is closer to average. Uh, but then we have this cold front come through, uh, and this cold front is going to uh, keep temperatures in the upper 30s for Saturday, which is well below normal. And for Sunday, you will see here that uh, our temperature is uh, still cold. We're still only struggling to reach uh, 40 degrees here. Uh, we're going to have a really strong northeasterly flow. And then for Monday, uh, you will see, look at that, still, it's still well below normal, only in the 30s. Uh, we start to see some recovery by Tuesday. Temperatures uh, moderate into the upper 40s and low 50s. And then we're in the upper 40s for Wednesday. And Thursday, we, we cool down a little bit into the mid-40s. And Friday, we are... So, we'll see, we'll see, look at the general pattern. There are some cool shots, but not as cold as what we're dealing with. But we're still 
uh, consistently below normal uh, uh, on this. Uh, you will see that we are still consistently below normal. It's not until maybe we get to the end of the period where there might be a little bit of warmth uh, right around Thanksgiving, if that if that would have verified. Of course, that's in the extreme long range as far as the temperatures go. So uh, we'll just go ahead, just look at the dew point just to show you. We're not going to, humidity is not really a thing we're dealing with anymore. But you can see this really dry air that's the north that's going to come down in on Saturday. And this also shows the uh, wind barbs nicely, which is why I like using it. You'll see that northeasterly flow there, uh, which could, uh, again, uh, it, we could have some pretty strong, strong wind gusts offshore with that. And just showing you that system, you can see it's all the moisture here with the, to the right of this low. We have two points that are close to 70, but luckily that doesn't come anywhere near us. So um, I will look at the wind speeds. Uh, look at the winds. Show you the wind speeds as we go into the weekend here on the GFS. So as we go into Saturday, you'll see uh, to the south. Look at look at some of these wind speeds over 40 knots here uh, by that center of low. So this is going to be a pretty, uh, like I said, pretty intense low pressure system here uh, that's going to form offshore. Um, it's going to mainly be offshore, like I said, not affecting us, but the offshore waters could be pretty stormy. So now we look at the sky cover, and hopefully we can get some clear skies, and hopefully the models kind of disagree on uh, where these clouds are going to go. So for tomorrow, we start off with this high cloud deck, which moves south by later in the morning and into the afternoon, just to the south. So Long Island would be clear, but sorry, folks, in New Jersey, you're going to be dealing with the clouds. Uh, and then Saturday, we have this other cold front come through and push these clouds again back for the, uh, in the late morning into the uh, afternoon hours. We'd have clearing skies uh, for Long Island and maybe even Jersey. Um, though I think in Jersey, with that northeast wind, you're going to have some clouds pushed into the Jersey Shore. Not as clear as Long Island. And then as we go into Sunday, we have more clouds, uh, as that uh, more high clouds from that low pressure system. But most of the rain would stay offshore from that. And then plenty of clouds into next week. We'd have to wait maybe until Thursday before the next clear day because uh, it gets a little unsettled. So um, let's look at the NAM. Again, this is going to want to show me the 0Z, which I don't have enough of it in. So we'll just stick with the 18Z. So this is the NAM. All right. So the NAM push, keeps those clouds to the south of us, just to our south for tomorrow. So Long Island would have clear, uh, clear skies. But then the clouds roll back in in the evening. Uh, and then here comes, you can clearly see that cold front there coming right from the north. That'll uh, bring us into that really cold air again. And it looks like for Saturday, it would be clear uh, for uh, maybe even Jersey, uh, but definitely Long Island. Uh, and then the clouds kind of com start coming back into the picture as you head into Sunday. All right, that is the NAM. So Saturday looks good. It's going to be cold, but it looks sunny and nice, nice skies. Uh, and even Friday, we have nice skies, just warmer. Uh, so... Uh, uh, Saturday, I think the skies would be a little nicer because obviously you're in the colder air mass. So uh, let's go look at the windy.com site and see, uh, take a look at this uh, storm system, and will you know give us also a chance to look at the uh, European model as well uh, on here as well as far as um, the cloud cover and stuff. So uh, being that we're talking about cloud cover, let's start let's start off with that. Okay, so here we are. Here is here is uh, our area. Let me just pull that a little bit more. Uh, here is our area. So will we clear these clouds after tomorrow? So this is 8 a.m. It looks like the Euro says the clouds get suppressed. So it looks like we'll have a clear day on Long Island. And maybe Tom's River will get lucky. All right. Then the clouds kind of roll back in on us in the evening. That cold front comes through. Let's see. Does it push those clouds to the south? Here we are 1 a.m., 5 a.m. Yep. The clouds are well to the south of us. So it seems to be an agreement that the clouds stay to the south. So that means Long Island will have a nice day for your Saturday and Friday, too. So you'll have two nice sunny days. Then the clouds kind of start rolling back in on us as that system gets a little closer and just brushes our area. Looks like just with clouds. It's not really showing any precipitation on here. It would just be mainly with clouds, I think, uh, that we would be uh, showing. We can actually put this on here and we'll see if there's any. Yeah, all the precipitation is pretty much off to the south uh, for this. So let me pull this out a little bit. We're going back to Saturday now. And we're going to look at the winds, show you the winds. 
with this system again. So uh, for Saturday morning, you'll see here on the Outer Banks, you're going to have winds that are sustained at 41. So it's, this is going to be pretty bad. This is going to be pretty bad. And this is going to be, like I said, coastal flooding in this area with the northeast winds, uh, especially in this area here in the Outer Banks and maybe even parts of the Delmarva. Uh, for our area, this is again Saturday morning, we're dealing with winds sustained at 18 miles an hour. So we move this into 3 p.m. And you can see this thing's getting a lot stronger now. And look at some of these winds sustained now off the Cape, 46 miles an hour. Uh, and these are, we're looking at sustained winds. And now, even offshore of our areas, we have sustained winds at 32 miles an hour, right? Because you have the squeeze play between this high building in and this low. So you have a tight pressure gradient. And we go into 9 p.m., uh, this thing ramps up even more, this storm. You can see here, like 44 mile an hour. Uh, these are sustained winds of 44 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour. We go into Sunday. Uh, you can see it's a slow mover because it's got the height of the north that's suppressing it, so it's kind of trapped. Here's the circulation here. Um, I don't know if the Hurricane Center is going to follow this thing or it's just going to be treated as an extra-tropical system, but it's definitely something that we're going to have to watch. But it looks like it stays offshore, and it's going to be more of a problem for uh, Delmarva. Maybe a little more with the, and especially to add the Cape, uh, Cape, the Eastern North Carolina area there with some of these strong winds. And it's like I said, it's going to be an extended period of this. So they're going to be going through this for at least 48 hours. And then by Monday, it's finally gone. Um, closest it comes to our area would be, I guess, Sunday night. All right. But we're looking at winds. Now we'll go to wind gusts because this, get, this gets a lot more impressive now. So uh, we back this up to Saturday morning. All right, we're already dealing with wind gusts on Long Island Saturday morning. Saturday is going to be a windy day. Let me uh, move this up here. We're going to be dealing with wind gusts 35 miles an hour because of this uh, pressure gradient here, 35 miles an hour. Uh, but over the waters, we're dealing with wind gusts to 45. All right, 45 mile an hour wind gusts. We go into Saturday. You will see, look at this. It goes up to 67 miles an hour off the, around 75. So there could be some hurricane force wind gusts right around the Cape Hatteras. So this is uh, really bad news for them. Uh, as far as uh, the water south of us, we're going to have the, it's going to be rough out there. Uh, wind gust 47. The problem is you got this strong wind, especially on the Jersey Shore. Could be some coastal flooding with that strong wind there uh, piling up the water. Uh, here's the storm to the south again. Staying to the south. Fortunately, like I said, it's pressed to the south. The worst of it is suppressed. Here we go. Here's Sunday. Again, it doesn't really have a tropical structure to it. It's more of an extra-tropical structure, but it could have some tropical characteristics or, you know, some type of, you know, hybrid. It's definitely getting some enhancement from the warm waters that are in this area. Uh, and you can see here, 50, 64 miles an hour winds. And here we go. Now we're in Sunday afternoon, and this is when I think we're going to see wind gusts offshore, 42 miles an hour, more of an easterly flow, so there may be even some coastal flooding on the south shore that we'll have to watch out for on the east end. These are wind gusts. Let's go to Sunday night. Uh, gets even closer. And uh, this is when it's going to get at its closest. You can see part of the east end is, could have some, maybe some 40 mile an hour wind gusts. Let's go to set Monday morning. Here's Monday morning. And it finally starts getting on out of here Monday. Uh, but this is at its closest approach to us here. It would be sometime during the middle of the day Monday and uh, again we're gonna have some 50 mile an hour wind gusts especially on the Cape and Nantucket this whole area just offshore uh, as this thing pulls away and it almost does look kind of tropical doesn't it uh, so we'll have to keep our eye on this storm obviously uh, this is the main uh, weather feature that we're going to be dealing with along the eastern seaboard but it fortunately stays offshore because we have that cold air coming in uh, otherwise, this could have been a pretty bad and a potent nor nor'easter for our area, but we're still going to see some effects from it, as you see. So I'll keep you posted on that, and thank you for watching this weather update, and have a good night.